Hello and welcome to another episode of Crizzy Books. I'm Crizzy or Chris, but only my homeboys call me Chris. And today I'm going to be doing a review of Boys Club by Matt Fury. A Boys Club was published in 2006. It's about 176 pages, written and illustrated by artist Matt Fury. The artist and author in this book got some attention um, a couple of years ago for this guy down here. Matt Fury created Pepe the Frog, the original meme featuring Pepe comes from this book, Boys Club, in a pretty funny comic. There's a pretty good documentary about Matt Fury and his feelings about all the stuff that have happened to, you know, his creation and things that he didn't intend to happen. It's it's really interesting and, and gives some insight into, you know, how it feels to have your work stolen and appropriated into something that you didn't want it to be. But I've been meaning to read this for quite some time. Obviously, knowing about Pepe the Frog and being into dank memes myself, I wanted to read this and see what it was all about. I like the character design. The art's really cool. I saw this at the library. I scooped it up. Support your local library. The book follows four animal-esque characters. We've got Andy, Brett, Landwolf, and Pepe. And that's it. There really is no plot to this. Most of the comics that are in this, or the stories, if you even want to call them that, take place on about a single page usually. And uh, they tend to have themes like poop and pee and puking and drugs and farts. Really juvenile, uh, stupid things. And a lot of them don't make any goddamn sense either. Uh, there is one longer story in this, which I actually thought was kind of funny. It's about how Land Wolf takes a shit that is the longest shit they've ever seen and they're trying to take a picture of it. The batteries are dead in the camera, so they freeze the shit to take a picture of it later. There is nothing deep about this. <laughs> it's incredibly stupid, absurdist. It's dumb as fuck. Some of this is really funny, though. What I liked about it, uh, his art, his character design's really, really cool. Uh, it stands out, and uh, I really like that. And, the, and it's just fun you know it's not trying to say anything special here it's just being stupid for the sake of being stupid and i i can enjoy that the color switch in this so like in the first in the beginning you know it's the all of the comics are just in a blue then an orange and a green and it kind of switches that way throughout it i, I kind of like that it was a cool creative decision and toilet humor is a-okay with me baby i love poop and farts and pee and i think all of that is very funny and that's pretty much what this whole book contains sometimes the jokes just don't really land or it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and uh also throughout this there are just like one page comics where one of the characters will start to transform into like a monster or a hot dog or or something else i liked those a lot i thought that they were pretty cool what i didn't like about it again some of the jokes just don't land or they just make zero sense. And so you'll read something that's just kind of like, huh? Like what? Huh? Ultimately that might kind of be the point. It's just not meant to make sense. I myself, I make comics and, and draw comics myself. I can understand just having that kind of creative want to just make something that is nothing. It, there is no point to it. It is just stupid. Some of my favorite comics out of this, there's one about an invisible hacky sack. And that one has stuck with me. It's it's pretty funny. The Feels Good Man, which the Pepe memes come from. Also very funny. It's about how Pepe pulls his pants down to go pee. When one of the characters asks him about that, he says, feels good, man. And then there's another one where two of the characters are walking down the street and a guy driving by in a car throws a dildo at them. I thought that one was pretty funny too. Overall, there's not a whole lot of substance here. It's just a bunch of stupid comics collected together. And I think that it succeeds on that. I, di I didn't love it but I did not hate it. I think that it is perfectly fine as it is. And it only takes about 20 or 30 minutes to read. So like, you know, if you're even interested at all, it, you'll get through it so quickly that it doesn't matter. I'm going to give this three out of five tabs of acid. But what did you think? Have you read this? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Thanks for watching. Bye.